Which brings me to another point, though, because I really don't believe we truly know what loyalty is and we don't truly know what love is. Is because hip hop always we talk about the pillars, right? We got DJing, b boying, beatboxing, MCing, and all that, right? Right. But the major pillar in hip hop that people don't talk about is poverty. Because mm-hmm. it's the poverty that they hold over your head to make you sing for money. And it's also the poverty that's held over your head to make you look to do something else because equality is, does not exist within the life that you were given. 100. You, the hardest thing I tell people is you first experienced racism when you, when you turned on television so no one who looks like you and you dream. And then the next part of racism you experience is when you look outside and everything that's on TV ain't your reality. And that's the reality you have to live up to while you dream to be somebody who doesn't look like you. When did your dreams and your reality start to mesh and you saw your dream and saw you in it? As oh, a man. Be- Beautiful question. I think, by the way, I was raised. I, 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 I was fortunate enough to have parents that raised us um, in a household of do for self. Um, if you if you know where do for self comes from, you know exactly where I come from and the mindset that I have. You know what I'm saying? So when you have um, those seeds planted in you at an early age, you have a certain level of self pride. You know what I'm saying? Of I am the best because I come from the best. You know what I'm saying? So it never was a thing for me where I looked at TV and was like, no other way. I was like, oh no, these are lies that sound true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These are lies that sound true to the people who are unaware. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, it's a lot of people that are unaware. And all we can kind of do is try to guide them into the light into the right direction. You know what I'm saying? But as for me, from where I came from, the way I was raised, oh no, nah, man, it was always a, a, a great level of self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? I understand that I was a king from the onset and that I'm supposed to carry myself as so. You know what I'm saying? So as I grew and the more and more I did look at things, um, it became painfully obvious that all the lessons that I was taught from an early age was true as far as being a black man in America, dealing with racism and, you know, dealing with cultural racism and then racism within your own community. So you're dealing with eight different, you know what I mean?